Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Summer. So um, today's video, I want to quickly share this with you guys. And uh, it's a post made by Ned Moko's uh, Moroccan wife, Leila. Um, I think um, she posted it about 11 hours ago or something like that. So basically she said, hello guys. I um, Okay, sorry. Hello guys. I just want to say that no one has right to talk about my marriage. Please stop talking about people's life. And I have divorced already and nothing between me and him. And anybody follow me. Okay, and anybody follow me because of him, you can uh, unfollow me, please. Thanks. Okay, I decided to come and make a video about shit because you know, when we talk about all these things, and then um, I know I have personally made videos about polygamy and all of that. I, I'm not a fan of polygamy, I've always said it. And I remember that when you make all this kind of posts and try to tell people about the other side that you do not see of polygamy, and um, you know, people say, Oh, you're jealous, you're this, you're that. And I'm, you know, we're not a lot of people. Some people think, Oh, you're jealous, you're this. Some people think life is all about money. Oh, you know, the guy is rich and all of that. My grandfather, you see, when you speak from experience or what you have seen, some people don't take a minute. You see, unfortunately, we live in a world where money is being worshipped above everything else. This is why I really want to come back and talk about this thing, and I'm going to talk about it. In a minute you know the speculations as to why the the marriage broke up okay now my grandfather was a king okay and when i say king he was a wealthy king in his time okay he's now dead and buried and all of that and he you know raised a, a family from five different women that um, at the time they were all kids they all played together it looked rosy and all of that children ate in any of the wives you know houses and you wouldn't know which child belongs to which mother and stuff like that but decades down the line i can tell you it's not the same okay i can tell you about the internal turmoil that is going on okay because you can look at some children in polygamous homes and be like oh yeah look but they're all living in harmony children are still too young to grow up and know what it is to answer your mama name you know people think oh answer your papa name it gets to a point where it becomes answer your mama name because i'm seeing it now in my own family okay that it's happening where people are beginning to answer their mama name and fighting according to which mother bond them as in which mother they come from. So, and I can see there are very extremely few people that succeeded in making polygamy a success, right? Even if when you go to Islam, you will see that Islam say that if you're marrying more than one wife, you have to treat them equally. That's what I, I, I understand from what Islam says. I'm not a Muslim. I don't read the Quran. I don't know what the Quran says. But this is what, you know, people that I have heard speak about um, polygamy from an Islamic uh, point of view. They said, if you're buying a car, if you're buying wife number one a car, make sure you're buying number two a car. If you're building one story building for number one, make sure you're building the same for the second one. Anything you're doing, do equally. But when you look at, from what we see, Ned Woko said he's a Muslim. That's why he married. That's another topic for another day. Okay. That's why he's doing polygamy. But um, if you look from what we see, you know, he's always posting Regina Daniels. Always the Regina Daniels, Regina Daniels. You don't get to see any of the other wives. At a point, he claimed that uh, he, the other wives don't want to be shown. At a point, he claimed that uh, he only has two wives, that he has already divorced the other one. His story keeps changing. But if you look, this is when coming to the speculation as to why the, the, this uh, um, marriage divorce. We that are watching, that's another thing about posting your, social, your marriage on social media. When you're posting it, you make it a community business. People must talk. That is it. When they don't even see, they talk. At least they are talking from a, a, a blind view but when you are showing people will talk this is one thing again about putting your life they will say they don't put marriage on social media people know they hear okay anyway you put on social media people will talk because even when a woman does not see how she's being shortchanged social media would let her know how she's being excuse how she's being shortchanged if you look at this Layla, she seems to be a very calm individual and very she looks because i'm going to say she looks like a very peaceful individual but if you look and when you talk about Islam and equality of the wives, the way this man has carried Regina Daniels, and personally, when I look at him and Regina Daniels, I personally do not believe it is for the love of Regina Daniels. I feel there is something Regina Daniels gives this man that he, he, he really wanted, which is fame. Because before he married Regina Daniels, nobody knew him. 
Regina Daniel has made this man famous. So any post with Regina Daniel will get a lot of views, a lot of comments. But if it's Leila, it, it, it not go carry the same weight. The same way if you see, I'm thinking, and this is where the speculation is, that this, let me tell you, as a woman, women are jealous by nature. As a woman, to watch your husband always posting another wife all the time, and you're rarely ever posted, women are jealous by nature. So I won't be surprised if that is the reason. Another thing, if you see, Leila's baby was the baby of the house, her youngest child, her son, that um, before Regina Daniel had a baby. Since Regina Daniel had a baby, go to Nedmoko's Instagram. All you will see is the baby of uh, Regina Daniels. The woman's son is not being posted. And then if you go to her Instagram now, you see her now actually posting her own son and saying, you know, let me see. There are some of these posts and say, uh, uh, he is my, my son is my, let me find it now. And the last few posts on her, on her, on her, on her Instagram, she started posting her own son. She said, this one she posted and said, happy boy. Another one she posted. At the same time, Nedwoko is busy posting Regina's son. She is posting opposite of him. Okay? And then another one she wrote, the next three days ago she posted my sultan. And she posted the son. Right? Another one she posted the boy again. My sultan, my life. Another one she posted and showed when the sultan was a baby. I love this picture. Another one she posted is, my boy is visiting my family. And... But if you go to Ned Wunko's, all you see is the, um, the Regina son. Regina son is enough to make a woman jealous. Treat them equally. It is not always that possible. I've only, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. But another one that I talked about in the past, that some people are like, yeah. And I said it. See, when I discuss these things, you see, this topic, some people think is for, it's not for me, it's not about entertainment. It's about we learning from other people's lives and say, ah, not true. Remember that man that blah, 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 blah. This is what to take from it. I've always said it that when there's a story going around social media, no matter what it is, always ask yourself, what lesson can I leave? If there's no lesson for you, leave the story. Let it just be social media gossip. But a lot of these stories, sometimes there is something for us to learn from. So it's not just discussing it for the sake of this. It's discussing it because of the things people can get from it. For example, when Ned Wonko made a post and said, this Leila's uh, birthday, I'll read to you guys Ned Wonko's post during Leila's birthday, right? This is his uh, uh, um, post. He said, um, where is it? Okay. Leila's birthday, he posted and said, this, the day has finally come. It is indeed a milestone. I know it means a lot to you. Okay, I wish you the very best of the days and year, years ahead. As I always tell you, Sorry, as I always tell you, what we should celebrate is life. Every day that we wake up, we should thank God and celebrate. Have a wonderful day. On behalf of the entire family, we love you. And I said, he said, we love you. He didn't say, I love you. People say, da, 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 da. look, let me tell you guys, because this thing has made me go back now, look at Instagram and everything. But let me show you what he posted when it was um, Regina Daniel's birthday. He wrote, beginning of a new decade, because the girl just entered to in her 20s. I think the girl is 21 now, right? You know, he marries them young and he marries uh, the ladies that have never been touched, if you know what I mean. And then, anyway, he said, beginning of a new decade with, with so much hope, expectations and grandeur. He said, I know you are looking forward to the future with so much fanfare. I love you and I wish you the very best as always. When he posted about um, um, Leila, the Moroccan wife, he said, we love you. But when he posted about Regina, he said, I love you. There is a difference in the two posts. Women are jealous by nature. This is what I'm saying. Right. Another thing I want to mention, you know, I can make another video about it. You see, when he says he marries, he basically seems that he, he, he seems that he marries them young because he always married the ones that have never been touched. And the chances of finding girls that have never been touched, touched is by marrying them young when they are, they have never, you know, you know what I mean? Anyways, now, if you look, there was another post he made in which he said, um, that was before the Layla's birthday. He said, Layla will be 30 years in a few days. In a few days time, it feels like yesterday. It has been 10 beautiful years. So this girl turned 30 and he's been with her for um, 10 years. So he married her when she was 20. So he marries them young. Okay. Amazing how she has matured over the years. Okay. Look at that word matured. 
I don't want to do that for too long, but I want to emphasize the men that be like, oh, I want to marry girls that are, you know, dig, you know, so men that be like, I don't want to marry girls that are already over the age of blah, blah, blah. I want to marry young ones because the more, mature, the more matured girls have opened eyes, you know. And personally, I feel like for a man to want, for a man to want girls that are still very young, typically, I'm not saying in all cases, so there are, typi there are typically men that cannot handle women of their age. So they go for children who never really to open eye. But I always tell people, I say, listen, the young shall grow. You marry them young. And then when they mature, that so-called matured ladies you are running from, you end up having a matured woman in your house. So if then you marry a young girl who never open eye, what will happen when she not finally open eye inside your house, under your roof, if that makes sense? So why don't you, Kukuma, go for the girl that body open eye and this is who she is, then go and marry the one who is still doing inside egg where they never crack, that you don't know what it's going to be like when they become matured. You get my point? I'm using this to, like I said, what do you take out of it? People that say, I want to marry small girl, I want to marry small girl shall grow. Like they say, young shall grow. It is possible that this girl has gotten to the age where you know, as she got older, she began to realize, okay, if, let me say something here, okay. One thing about younger girls in their 20s, I was one of them, right? I was not married into a polygamy, but I was a young girl, you know, 21, when I settled down with a man that was, you know, let me put that, let me put it that way, he was not my age mate, let me put it that way, okay? And I've always said it, that age gap marriage is not, is not something that I, as long as two adults want to make that, that's a decision. But polygamy is what I always had an issue with, right? But now, one thing I can tell you is that your 30s is when you begin to realize who you are. Your 30s is when you begin to look and say, what is life? Your 30s is when you begin to know your worth. I'm telling you the truth. You begin to see with a clearer eye that some things that other people can, could see. You know, they used to say that what an elder can see sitting down. A child will not see it while standing. When you are young, you're like a man just razzle-dazzle. You, you just easily carried away, right? A man shows you love, which is a beautiful thing, you fall for it, and you overlook every other thing. But when you get to an age where you begin to know what life is, you're bound to look and say, okay, that's actually not okay. That is okay. And some people saw it way ahead that that was not okay. But you didn't see it. I have shared my own marriage story here. I can link it for a lot of you to check it out. And like I'm saying, when I shared my story too, I didn't share it to entertain anybody. I wanted people to learn from my experience. Let me tell you, nothing wrong with marrying a younger girl or whatever. There's not, people have done it, but their marriage worked out and everything. But what I'm saying is that if you have a bad behavior that you know that a matured woman cannot tolerate, don't think I will marry a small girl and she will tolerate it. Let me tell you, that small girl will grow up one day too and will not tolerate it. That's what I'm trying to say, right? Now, when I made posts talking about the other side of polygamy. I wasn't saying it, you know, I was saying it because I want people to know the other side of polygamy. So people say you are jealous, you are this, you are that. What is there to be jealous about? You get to a point in your life, you you know, like, what is, the, okay, let me ask, what is there to be jealous about, about uh, a, a, a man that belongs to several women is nothing to be jealous, jealous about. No. A manhood that you have to share with other women it is nothing to be jealous about. Let me tell you. So people say, what about side chick? Let me tell you. Side chick is stealing it. It's your own. She's only stealing. But when there are many of you, it belongs to all of you. Nobody is stealing from anybody. When it is a side chick situation, you are the rightful owner. But when there are several of you, all of you are rightful owners. There is a difference. At the end of the day, like I was saying, his, her family is seeing this thing. They are watching all this all this lovey-dovey he's doing with Regina, they are bound to sit back and say, ah, family, do you know what it is? Her family and friends will be seeing if he treats them equally in the eyes of people. It won't be like this. Her family and friends will be seeing all this. I, I personally feel like it would be embarrassing. If he was treating them equally in the eyes of social media, it would be different. People are seeing the difference. This is your husband. He's always lovey-dovey and dovey and another person. It is bound to affect a marriage. Bottom line, what I'm saying is this, Right? Polygamy is messy. Even the Islamic way, only very, extremely few people can, can equally, can treat several women equally. It is not easy to practice, right? Women are jealous by nature. So that is always going to be a problem. Another thing is this. Marrying a young girl, you should be prepared that young shall grow. And, and the final point I want to make is, 
keep your marriage out of social media on another day here. Because outsiders go put mouth. Like I said in one of my videos, I said, imagine in-laws putting mouth in your marriage. Multiply it by millions. That's what it is when you put on social media. Because there's so many people that will put them out. When you put your marriage on social media, people will talk. And it can, I'm not saying it will, but it can have an effect. As always, this is my opinion. Whatever your opinions are, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.